Good morning, friends. This is Brenda Mailer here in Seabright, Nova Scotia. I'm going to share with you this morning a yoga practice um, that can be done as just a quick morning get up, feel your body, get connected, and um, go about your day. So, um, as always, very, be very mindful of what is happening in your body. That's what we are doing. We're connecting to our body. We want to honor the sensations that we feel in our body. So, if something doesn't feel right, please move out of it and wait until we move on or adjust your body until you feel that comfort. Um, we also really want to pay attention to the breath. So, observe how your breath is flowing. Allow it to deepen when it feels okay to deepen. And when it can't deepen, ease yourself up a little bit. Ease yourself out of the posture a little bit. So we want to find that nice balance where our body guides us and our breath guides us and everything feels really good and opening. Okay, so, so please keep that in mind. So we're going to start the practice this morning in extended child's pose. So if you're sitting on something, just move that out of the way. Bring yourself down onto your hands and knees. Knees nice and wide, toes together in the back. Sink your hips down and then just reach your arms forward and allow your forehead to come down to the mat. And here we just want to take a few deep breaths as we begin to center ourselves. Checking in to thoughts that might be present and just allowing them to fade away. Really bringing yourself into this moment here, not worrying about your day, not worrying about what happened yesterday, but just being really present. Okay, now let's bring ourselves up to onto all fours. So our knees are going to be underneath of our hips and our hands are underneath of our shoulders. And from here, we just want to open up our, our spine a little bit. We're going to curl our tailbone up, drop our belly and pull our crown up to the sky. And then in exhaling, we're going to round our spine up like a cat and drop our head. So inhaling into dog or cow, some people call this cow too. And then exhaling, rounding the spine. And just begin to move with the breath. Feel the breath and the body working together. One more time. Ready, come back to center. Now we're going to bring our arms a little bit wide and our knees a little bit wide on the mat. And we're going to begin to circle our bodies around so that we can warm up our shoulders and our hips. And here again, move with the breath. See if you can find a nice gentle rhythm that moves your body with your breath. Feel the sensations in the shoulders and the hips. Just checking in how the body's feeling this morning or today. And then slowing that down, let's move the other direction. Sinking the hips back, just walk the body back over top of the hips and bring the knees together. Just sitting there. If this is uncomfortable, you can just come up onto, onto your knees. Let's just inhale the arms up, open wide, and hands down into the heart. Good. And then press the hands forward. Take a 
You sweep to the wrists, just opening up the wrist joints, and then the other direction. You want to press, like you're pressing on the wall, spread the fingers. Take a deep inhale and then drop the fingers forward and just feel into the tops of the arms here. Draw the arms wide. Take a deep inhale, inhale up. And exhale down. And let's interlace our fingers behind us so that our palms are facing up and our fingers are facing down. Take a deep inhale and just open to the chest here. Drop the chin. Just feel into the back of the neck a little bit. All right. And then bring the head back up, release the arms, and just shake them out a little bit. All right, let's bring our bodies back forward again. We're just going to bring our right leg back. We're just going to rotate the ankle a little bit, just opening up that ankle joint. Good, and then just dropping it down to the mat, drop the toes down and just press through the heel a little bit, opening into the back of the leg. All right, and then dropping the knee down, let's bring the other foot back, same thing, open that ankle, just rotating it around a little bit, taking some care into our feet. and then dropping those toes to the mat let's press through the heel same thing just reach gently opening through the back of the leg listen to the breath all right now with our wrists underneath of our shoulders hip shoulder widths apart here we're going to just bring that of the leg back and we're going to reach into a high plank Take an inhale here, good, and then if you like, you can drop your knees to the floor, just bring your body down, whatever way feels good for you. Keeping those elbows in, let's just relax the feet, inhale into baby cobra, engage the back and exhale down. Inhale up, and exhale down. The body is relaxed, we're just engaging the back. And exhale down. Good. Take a breath. Turn the toes back under. And we're going to press ourselves back up into a high plank. Good. So from here we're going to bend our knees and we're going to bring our hips up into the air into downward dog. And then we're just going to walk our hips or walk our feet gently towards the floor. Really trying to keep a nice long spine. Take a couple moments of stillness here. Listen to your breath. So again, with this posture, we really want to be long through the spine. And if our knees need to be a little bit bent, that's okay. All right. Now, either bring your left knee to the mat, but let's step our right foot forward. I'm just going to come up into a high lunge. Just allow the back leg to open a little bit. Feel into the hips. Allow the hips to maybe drop a little bit to a comfort zone. Round the left hand and let's inhale the right arm open. Reaching up to the sky. Reaching through that heel in the back, really finding that long back leg. Good. Inhale. Exhale, bring the hand back down. Good. All right. Now we're going to bring the back foot forward just slightly. So we're just going to kind of hop forward with it. 
and drop the heel to the mat, all right? Press into the front foot, ground that back foot, inhale, come all the way up. And you can straighten the front leg for a moment, inhale. Take an inhale and exhale, let's bend that front knee and find our warrior this morning. Inhale, reach. Exhale, bring the hands down into the heart. All right, now we're gonna open our body out to the side. So our back foot's gonna shift just slightly, but our front foot's gonna stay pretty much where it's at. So we're just opening our hips up, okay? Inhale, the arms up out to the side. And just find comfort through the hips, shoulders and hips are in alignment here. We're just gazing over the right fingertips. Reach the back hand back. We want to really feel both fingertips reaching. Listen to your breath here. Let your body guide you. Now inhale, we're going to reach forward. We're just going to bring that arm right down onto our thigh. Just resting it there, palm up. Bring the other hand into the lower back. Just so that it's just resting there and open the shoulders. And now we're going to raise that back arm straight up into the air. Now you can stay here if that's most comfortable for you, but if you can reach for the floor, reach for the floor, or if you have a block, you can grab a block to just open up wide on the sides. So from the side, it looks like this, or like this, okay? One more breath here. Now we're gonna press into that right foot and we're gonna come all the way up. Good, now both legs are straight and we're still open up to the side, both arms. We're gonna come into triangle. So take an inhale, soften the shoulders. Good, and then inhale again, reaching forward. And then just dropping that arm down wherever it lands. Bring the other hand again into the lower back. Just open the shoulders, gaze out towards the side. Notice what's happening on the inside of the right hamstring. Always finding ease in our body here. And expanding and opening with the breath. Raise the back arm up, or you can leave it in your lower back as well, whatever feels best. Inhale, expanding, good. And exhale, we're just gonna sweep that arm forward and down and bend the knee. So we're kind of coming back into the high lunge. Good. All right, so let's bring ourselves back into a high plank. Find that downward dog again and just notice the differences from one side of the body to the other here. more deep breath, feel your body, and then you can bring your left or your right knee to the mat and step your left foot forward and just come into a high lunge on this side. So again, it's important to have the, the ankle underneath of the knee here and then really reach through the back leg. And if you need blocks or you have blocks to kind of prop yourself up there, that's good too. Listen to your breath and just feel into the hips. Good. Now let's ground the right hand and inhale, open the left arm up and twist the body. Reach through that back heel. So this one looks like this from the side. Okay. Now 
One more deep inhale. And exhale, coming down. Right hand, rest. All right. Now we're going to bring that back foot forward just a little bit and then drop the heel to the mat. Same thing we did on the other side. And then pressing both feet into the mat, we're going to inhale, come all the way up. Good. Soften the shoulders. Ground your feet, really feel stability through your legs. Inhale, reach. And exhale, let's bend the front knee. And again, adjust your feet if you need to so you can feel that stability through the body and the lower legs. And then listen to your breath here. Inhale, raise our arms up and then bring them down into the heart. All right, so let's open up to the other side now. Good. The back leg just adjusting so the back foot is kind of pointing on a little bit of an angle forward but out to the side and the front knee is still on top of the ankle. Let's raise the arms out to the side, gazing over the left fingertips. Feel your body here. Now inhale, reach forward and just drop that forearm down onto the thigh again. The other hand comes into the lower back, open the shoulders. We're just opening the heart out to the side here. Keep the knee on top of the ankle. And if it feels okay, raise your back arm all the way up into the sky. Now again, you can stay here or you can drop that hand down to the floor, whatever feels most comfortable in your hips. Just meet your body wherever you're at. Don't force it to do anything that doesn't feel quite safe or we're comfortable. Allow deep breaths to support your efforts as long as the efforts feel good. good. Now we're going to press into the left foot and we're going to come all the way up. Good. So both legs are straight now. We're going to come into triangle. Relax the shoulders. Inhale, reach forward. Then again, drop that hand down wherever it lands. Bring the other hand into the lower back. Open the shoulders. Gazing out to the side. And then if you like, you can raise the right arm up into the air and expand outward from the heart. So again, in this posture, we don't have to be reaching really far to the ground. We can just open and feel really good here. Feel the torso reaching forward. Feel good in that front leg there. Okay. One more deep inhale. Good, and then bend the front knee and we're gonna twist the body forward and come back into that high lunge. Good. All right, let's bring the back leg back and come into high plank again. Inhale and exhale, come all the way down. Again, using your knees if you like. Good, let's see baby cobra once more. Keep those elbows in, inhale up and down and up and down. Inhaling up. And exhaling down. Good. So we're going to bring a little bit of fire into our belly here. We're going to come into lower plank. So the elbows come right underneath of the shoulders. Let's bring the hands together. Clasp your fingers, whatever feels good. And then just begin by lifting up the body so that you're flat with your knees. Turn them to the side here. So we're just starting like this. Okay. And then if you like, you can raise your body up reach through the heels and engage the core. 
and breathe there. Try not to look down through the legs. Try and keep your gaze forward to protect your shoulders. And again, if you come all the way up and you're like, yeah, I'm just not there today, just bring your knees down. Notice what feels good. Good, a couple more deep breaths. Good, and then come all the way down. Ah, press the hands in, let's come back into a child's pose. Just sinking the hips back towards the heels. You can come into wide-legged too, it depends on what feels good. Stack your fists or just allow your forehead to find the mat. Take a few deep breaths. Inhale, roll yourself up. Let's bring the legs around in front. All right. So toes are just pointed up. You can feel your sit bones and you're trying to sit as straight as possible here. We're gonna pick up our right leg and we're just gonna cross the leg over or just bring it in just about the knee so we can pull our body into the leg. We don't wanna have it so close that we can't pull our body in. We wanna create a really long spine here. So you can leave it here or you can cross it over as long as this foot is flat. All right, inhale, bring the left arm around, bring the right arm back, rest that long spine, and exhale, twist to the side. Good, inhale, and exhale, come forward. <sighs> Good, let's bring that leg out, let's bring the other leg in, same thing on this side as you did on the other side. Pull the body into the leg, bring the left arm around, lengthen the spine, inhale, and exhale, twist. Really feeling your body here, noticing what's happening. Staying present. Good. Inhale, lengthen, and exhale, come forward. So we've arrived at Shavasana. So I welcome you to allow your feet to fall apart, your arms to fall apart, and lie back into Shavasana. As you find your way down, Grabbing a support for your neck if you need it, or a blanket, and just taking a few moments to take a deep breath and exhale, just begin to soften your body, feel your, your head feel heavy in the mat, your shoulders and your back, your hips all grounded, the backs of your legs grounded, your ankles and heels, your feet relaxed, the muscles in your thighs are relaxed your hips softened, your belly and your heart open and soft, your palms, your fingers relaxed. Just feel the lightness around your face and the breath beginning to slow to find its own little natural rhythm. And taking a few moments to receive Letting out a sigh if you need to, to just, just relax your body a little bit more. Feel the peace, the connection within. The breath nourishing every crevice, every corner of your body. Feeling the air around you. This 
is your turn. Your turn to receive. Now deepening the breath, reawakening the body. Imagining the breath reaching down into the fingertips and your fingertips begin to move. And then another breath reaches down your legs into the tips of your toes and your toes begin to move. And take a couple more reawakening breaths, stretching, doing whatever you need to reawaken your body. And then when you're, when you're ready, rolling over onto your sides. And this is the start of your day. You can roll to the left. Or if you feel more relaxed. And as you take a couple breaths here. Just receiving your practice this morning, noticing what you're taking with you today from your practice into your day, into your life, feeling and observation, dedication, devotion to yourself, to your connection, whatever that is, and when you're ready, rise with that intention and find your way back to your seat. We'll take a few moments mindful meditation before we end our practice. So just relaxing your hands, palms down, or if you like, you can have your palms up and bring your index finger into your thumb. Whatever feels good in your body this morning for meditation. And take a deep inhale and exhale, just soften. And bring your awareness into your breath, your eyes closed or gazing downward. And your purpose in this meditation this morning is to just be aware of your body. Feel the sensation of your body just holding your awareness. Just noticing We are not the body. We are so much more than just the body. But we need this body to guide us, to help us manifest our lives. We need this body in good working order. We need this body support us. And this is our time to connect. The breath and the sensation of the body. And if you notice your, your thoughts go elsewhere, just bring them back when you notice. No harm done. Practicing self-awareness.
bringing your hands into your heart. I will offer you one only this morning. Uh, Gratitude for our efforts today, for sharing this practice together. For our intentions. Let's rub the palms together, create a little heat within your palms. And just cut them over the eyes and allow the eyes to open into that warmth, into that energy. And then wash your face and bring your awareness back into the room, into your world. Ready? In this moment, thank you for sharing your practice with me today. Namaste. May you have a beautiful day and take your intention with you. Watch how it transpires throughout your day. And I hope to see you back here soon. Thank you for joining me.